let, let's let's switch things up a little bit yeah. and uh let's talk about uh, a little thing that is uh uber basically trying to tell you to chase a search at this point <laughs> and of course they're definitely trying to get you to do everything that you, they can here. in order to get you to do what they want <laughs> so <laughs> don't you know, ever do this, this people no no don't <laughs> ever 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 rule number one ever don't never ever ever ever, ever ever yeah because you because here's the other thing you know you, you get all your little happy ants that are saying oh i see surge and these are uh, young ants these these are the newborns these are the ones that don't know uh and haven't been around for that, bro. Ooh, surge well i want to go take that so they're all the new little ants that are freshly born uh they are heading to that same general direction so the best thing to do is either stay put or move to where the drivers were coming from to take all the rides that now they're going to miss out on because they all went the other way and went towards yeah. surge <laughs> <laughs> but yeah looked like i thought this was fake but it's not it's not the guy is from the app i mean it says literally it says navigate and go towards the search so kill the search for everybody that's in the search zone right please don't do this people please don't do it i'm begging <laughs> people please don't do this i mean i don't care no. not for me but that's that's just this is just no good right here i mean first rule last rule ever never ever 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 chase the search it's a mirage <laughs> in the desert you will never catch up to it okay and then and then you will you will um complain to me that oh i got there and the search disappeared exactly for this reason don't, don't <laughs> yeah. do it. Yeah, i drove under the okay. thing but it, but when i was driving under it it disappeared and now it doesn't say yeah. anything there <laughs> yeah no, no, <laughs> well, and, then, and then they go oh by the time i got there it split like the red sea i go yeah because they know you're coming i mean what do you think mm -hmm. they're gonna give you free money no first of all don't even drive with your app on money going into the search go go you know with your app off and then when you get under the red cloud, maybe give it a shot. You know, you still may get baited, but it's not going to be as blatant as this one. This one literally yep. says, to earn a surge, fair, drive to the highlighted area and complete a trip. I'm like, no, don't, <laughs> Uber. What are you doing? You know what? You know what? You know, last week's episode, we talked about the gamification, gamification, how they train. Remember? Right? You don't think this is part of the training? <laughs> The oh, one hundred percent. It's it's called conditioning. <laughs> They're conditioning you to do yeah. that. Yeah, oh, and, and then, you know, yeah. we're 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 coming up on our what, six month or seven month or something where the majority of people have had upfront fares now, or mm -hmm. a lot of people have. Yeah, so now well. the question, the question that I want to know is, if anybody has a very similar ride that they've taken from, you know, when when it first started in your market to today i'm looking for for either the same ride mm -hmm. the same pickup same drop off or very close to that in time and distance i want to see how much different is that that same ride has it gone down like are they trying to condition drivers to, to accept things that are less and less because we're, we're hitting that point i told you you go back six seven months ago when it first started and that's what i said i'm like look what are they going to do? They're they're going to try to try to get you to to start taking <laughs> more rates while they increase the rates. I, I don't know. I, I really want to do that test. So, like I say, if you uh, if you got any of that, where it's a similar ride from today or you know in the last week to when it first started in your area, hey, send it our way. We'd love can to we, know. Can we also on the anniversary, maybe six month anniversary of this replay? Harry's interview, that snippet that he's uh, that where DK said, the CEO of Uber said, it's a learning thing. The algorithm is trying to learn. AI is trying to learn. Machine this, machine that. They said, he said it. It's here on the channel. Go watch it. Yeah. He said, How many, you it, do it, not it wasn't just here. It was other massive uh, interviews as well, too. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said, if you're not accepting trips, it's, one of them. Then it's on us. So, uh, yeah, what happened? I thought things were supposed to be adjusted here. Or was it the conditioning period for drivers to start accepting lower low ball offers? Yeah. No, but that's, I mean, but, but he, he said, he said, if you don't accept the trip, it's on us. Yep. Clear as day. <laughs> it's, it's on video. We're not going to. Well, not only that. that, they also say that it's going to be a fluctuation period between 
you yeah. know, when they first implemented. Yeah. How, how many how many billions of trips did they give last year? Or, I mean, I'm sorry, last quarter? Two billion. <laughs> two billion. Two billion trips. If you don't yeah. have a good sample size in your two billion trips, you got yeah. something else wrong. Yeah, two billion is pretty good sample size. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So you know, people, to keep your eye out. Um, I want to actually give uh, Chris a hand for next Tuesday's show. <laughs> now at Curbivore, we were there, but we also had fifty drivers there. What a great <laughs> opportunity! <laughs> to, what a great opportunity to test. To test, and boy, <laughs> did we test! Ooh. And Chris is knee deep in doing this stuff cussing me out every second of it so now <laughs> give a hand to Chris because next week you guys are going to watch something beautiful <laughs> oh yeah. like yeah i just we got, got started on it so it's it's going to take a little bit of time to, to run through um but yeah you guys are going to be in for a pretty nice treat next week as well too so make if sure was, you want if it was if it was as as engaging as the one we did you know the 20 minute one with the two brothers in chicago right Mm -hmm. This is better. I think this is better. <laughs> this is better. And there's a lot more of us involved there. So it's going to be great. So go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, contact uh, Chris at the ride here. All right. So yeah, everybody. Um, anyway, so do what I did. How about this? You know, if Uber is not going to listen, Lyft is not going to listen and adjust up, let's do this. Let's just bombard uh support with text messages we know we're not going to get paid but at least you know tie them all up or something say i need an adjustment even they come back they say no adjustment they go no i need an wait. adjustment maybe you'll get it wait hold on before before you give that information out we need to also give you a, a full amount of information here because uh okay. yeah you could try to request fares uh fare adjustments on all your trips but the problem is uh, they are, or at least some of them are saying that if you continue to abuse yeah. the tr the fare adjustment, that your uh, <laughs> your ability to access the platform may be questioned. Mm, yeah, now, this that. is something that I've seen uh, on Reddit. I've also seen it on another Facebook group. Uh, so I am starting to see this. Uh, the problem is, like, if they're not adjusting the fares automatically, well. That's the issue right there. So, you know, this is something where they need to be very more or much more specific on a lot or significant because well, to us, that doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I think if they clear clarified what that meant on both cases, I think I'll be fine. Then I'll know mm -hmm. what to do. I'll just get to the original destination. And when the 15 minutes are up, I'll open the door and I go, sir, your ride has ended. Okay. You know I'm saying that's it. So, yeah, I, exactly. yeah. I mean, you know, it has to be fixed. This has to be fixed. We cannot be losing. There's one thing we cannot get back, Chris. Is time, and I don't want to lose ten minutes, five minutes, three minutes, eight minutes, whatever, on each trip, just because your systems suck and they cannot figure out a proper estimate when you send me the upfront fare, and then play mm -hmm. silly, play dumb, and say, "Oh, well, you accepted it. It's going like no. If I wouldn't have accepted it if it was like that. So let's go." That's it. Here's another one that says uh, um, they just told uh, this person that they're not ex uh, providing any more adjustments. Oh, the honeymoon period is over? Mm. Mm, okay. Mm. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, well then, then decline, 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 decline. <laughs> There you go. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right. Drive smart, everyone.